Great job. Okay, so uh, a couple things, uh, a few like really good things that are going on here. Um, your intonation is like center of the pitch. Like you know where each of the, like every note is. Um, like the only spot where like you we were like eh, like and not yeah. sure is like when you had to yeah. go up and like uh, get the harmonic key with your third finger. But that was the only spot that I saw where you were like unsure where the pitch is. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, circle that, um, and just, like, practice that, like, you know how to practice that, uh, like, go from the open A to the, or are you ignoring that area? Is that uh, y we have to, if we're going to, I think it's, uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know how to practice that, um, but that was, like, the only spot that you were, like, I don't know, like, exactly <laughs> what this is, but, yeah, yeah. um, so, besides that, um, the only thing I, like, want to work on is, like, dynamics. Okay. Like, dynamics is, like, a huge part. Because, like, the notes are easy, rhythm is easy. Um, but there's, like, such a huge dynamic contrast, like, especially in the first movement. Okay. So, I really want to work on that right now. Okay. Um, because, like, everything is equipped like, marked to, like, mezzo forte, a uh, piano. Like, you're playing, like, basically, like, a mezzo piano right now. Um... So, like, what are the three things to do for, uh, like, dynamics? Like, what do you have to do, like, um, like on the cello? Bow speed. Yep, bow um, speed. Like, distance, um, like, where, contact point. Yep, contact point. Um, and, like, like, pressure. Yep, pressure, yep. So, what do we do if we want a really loud sound? Uh, closer to the bridge. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, faster. Yep. Bow speed. And more pressure. Yep. And what do we want if we want a quiet sound? Uh, you're closer to the fingerboard and mm -hmm. you, uh, like, less pressure mm -hmm. and slower, like, boost. Wait, no, you still have, like, you just slow a little bit, yeah. but not, like, super slow. <laughs> yeah, so you, you know all of that. Yeah. So let's, with all of that in mind, so you see, like, mezzo forte, okay, so what do you need to do when you see mezzo forte? Um, do you need like, to be, like, right on the bridge? No. <laughs> okay, yep. So where do you need to be, like... like here maybe yep yep like middle um not not a ton of pressure but like enough mm -hmm. like I, I want you to get like a really like f not loud but like full nice like solid sound out of your instrument okay so let's just do the first line and get a really solid like mezzo forte okay <laughs> <laughs> all right that was better um i only heard like an inkling of a mezzo forte like right here okay so um and i noticed like you're still kind of more towards the fingerboard okay like you could be like a little more towards the bridge and you i feel like you're not using enough like arm weight, weight from your arm <laughs> Yeah. Like, like, we're cellists, like, we use yeah. our arm weight, like, for our pressure. So, uh, like, really concentrate on, like, pressure and contact point this okay. time. So, let's do the first line again. Oh, I'm not 
Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, even if you mess up, like, keep going. Like, I know this is, like, a new concept, like, for you, like, with this piece. So, like, it, it's okay that, like, you're stumbling a little bit. Um... So, like, let's take it a little slower now. Okay. But, really, I want you to play, like, loud. Like, just play it, like, scream it. Like, just play right. super, like, extreme. Just play super, super loud. And let's go. Ba-dum, 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 ba But really loud. Just really loud. Just super, <laughs> like, fill this entire room super right. loud. Oh, well, uh, no. Is it okay? <laughs> time you played it and now that to me is a mezzo forte i know like your instrument like isn't like super loud yeah so that's why that's like the, that's you... a really big crack in it so oh it's like, no oh, no it's a tech instrument so oh like, it doesn't oh yeah because you're just getting yeah, fixed oh your my face. god so okay like, yeah oh my god it's really weird oh, <laughs> it's weird okay. Noise. okay that's fine <laughs> uh, that's fine but that that was good okay so thank that you. was like a, a really good mezzo forte so do that every time like you see mezzo forte and, like, the piano, like, you have, like, a solid piano. Okay. So, like, <coughs> that that was really good. Um, so, now, let's do the first and the second line under tempo and really focus on dynamics. Like, I know, um, like, during our orchestra sectional with uh, Professor Doty, she said every time you see, uh, what was it? It was, like, the beginning with crescendo or decrescendo or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time you see a beginning with decrescendo, it means forte. Yeah. Apply that here. Like, okay. because you don't, you don't want to start this, like, uh, descending or whatever, uh, going down, uh, into piano until you hit that forte. Like, at the beginning with the C sharp, I, like, as soon as you, like, hit that C sharp, like, I want it to be loud and then immediately come down. Alright, cool. Okay, so, let's go... You started rushing a little bit last time at the end, so... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Um, so let's take it under tempo, really focus on dynamics, and your vibrato, by the way, is beautiful. I love oh, your vibrato. thank you. No problem. I, I keep forgetting to mention that, but your vibrato is amazing. So, um, and especially in the C-sharp, like, you, you're, it's a down bow C-sharp, like, beautiful vibrato, um, like, going towards the tip, so it, it's perfect, because you're at the frog at the beginning, so you could, like, really hit it. And uh, downgrade to the piano. Okay. So, cool. okay, let's go under tempo, focus on dynamics, first two lines. Okay, so how about. crescendo um so like uh just like go through um the next thing i would say like for this uh like play the whole thing like for yourself because like there's so like only so much like one person can tell you before mm -hmm. um like you have to like realize it yourself so like play it uh, like a bunch of times record it and like go through with a pencil and with your music and listen to the recording and just like circle anything that you see on the paper but you didn't do. Okay. Um, even, like, stuff, like, you, like, that's not written, like, um, the, like, this line, like, it's going up, 
like until the E, like that, uh, uh that's a G, oh, sorry, sorry, that's an F, um, it's just kidding, G. <laughs> I can read. Um, <laughs> so it's like going up to that G. So like the G is like the climax of the first line, yeah. or of like the entire. No, there's like there's an A later or something. Yeah. Um, something. yeah. <laughs> uh, the G is like the climax of the first line. So like there's an applied crescendo that like you're gonna go to that G. Okay. So really like make the G like the climax of that. And oh look, it's like the exact middle of the first line anyway. Yeah. So it's like uh. Uh, an arching phrasing that we talk about all the time in cello. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, definitely dynamics would be the biggest thing you should focus on on the first movement. All right, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's do the second movement. Um, just, re yeah. It doesn't It doesn't look that bad. No. I, it's, I've never it's, played this before. It's so. all, like, just patterns, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just do the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you do you have any question like do you have any questions on like the first or second movement or anything? Um uh not really. Would you phrase each like grouping of sixteenth notes or would you phrase each like sort of thing like so it just grows gradually? Like Um like... Both. Actually. Both? Okay, um, cool. Yeah. For the if you're looking at each individual in, individual sixteenth group, like um for the first movement, um I would like do a mini crescendo like how how we did like the choral accents in Capriccio okay. uh, for orchestra last semester. Um I would do like that um on each of the high notes at like the end of the sixteen note phrases mm -hmm. and then just like continuously like growing to the G. Awesome. So like you don't wanna like blast an open A like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for uh Scarlatti's so uh, definitely, like, uh, because it's, like, you, you have, like, a constant open A. Like, you don't, that's not really important. So, yeah. like, it's, like, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A. So, yeah, definitely the A is quieter. But definitely, like, overall, like, go to the highest point of the line or the piece. So, in this case, it would be the G. Sweet. So, okay. okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. So, second movement. Okay. Let's go. So like the same thing um, with, the, with the first movement, your intonation is really, really like on point. Like you know like the center of the pitch and like you know when you're wrong and like you fix it like to the center of the pitch immediately like as soon as like you notice you're a little sharper flat. Um, this happens a couple times but the one spot I remember, I don't know where this lost it, uh, um, was it was like a shifting something and... Was it the where it goes to like... Uh, I think it's before that. I, I do not remember. Maybe it was. Um, the, but like, uh, <laughs> you went to like an open string.